shit in the world. What's happening? We're what y'all got? We you? are together. <laughs> Sorry. Together? Yes. As in like what? Me and your son are together. As in how we were together, me and your son are together. He just don't shake his head. So what you mean? Like how long this been going on though? Three months maybe? Three months. Yeah. Three months. Look at him. I was in a 15 year marriage where I felt stuck, where I felt like I couldn't breathe, I couldn't go anywhere. And he is a good person, right? I mean, let that be known. He's a great person, <laughs> a great father. Um, but I don't think that he was, he was good for me because I felt stifled. I felt, okay, that my only, my only duty. This woman got divorced and decided to start dating her ex-husband's son. Little did he know this has been happening behind his back for three months now. But that woman is evil. <laughs> she probably just ruined a father and son relationship. She knew this was going to hurt him. From what I can see, this was done intentionally. What's in the world? What's happening? What, what y'all got? We you? are together. <laughs> Sorry. Together? Yes. As in like what? Me and your son are together. As in how we were together, me and your son are together. He just don't shake his head. So what you mean? Like how long this been going on though? Three months maybe? Three months. Yeah. Three months. Look at him. <laughs> man, let me tell you this right here. Man, man, this is my son right here. Ain't man one of y'all got no type of respect for me, kid. Y'all ain't got no respect, kid. Tell you. Hey, man. It's only been a week. I just been talking hey. about what we were going to do when he turned 18. What y'all were going to do when he turned 18? What would y'all going to do, sir? This is insane. He's not even 18 years old yet, and she was already planning to date him. My question is, couldn't this woman found someone who was in her age bracket? Just seems to me she's been preying on him. I said we just been talking about it. I mean... What the world? I mean, you basically helped me raise my son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I help you take care of him. And I'm still going to take care of him. Take care of him, huh? Yeah. She be looking out, man. Looking out. <laughs> looking out. It is what it is. I don't it is what it is. I don't want to have a full-blown conversation. I don't want to get loud. We have neighbors. You need to respect people. It is what it is. Oh, it's, man. I have been wanting to leave for a long time. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is amazing here. This is amazing. And he's just standing there like, you just standing there like, what is happening, kid? Like, okay. real talk, though, dog. Really? Like, real talk, y'all both. This is between me and you. You know what? If you want to go, go. You don't have to stay here and listen to him. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. Ain't nobody finna go nowhere, kid. What are y'all talking about? Go ahead. No, no. Go. Ain't nobody. I'm telling you, you right go. now. I'm telling Move you. Move out the way. Ain't nobody going nowhere, man. Ain't Not nobody bad. going nowhere, man. We're going to have to figure out what we're going to do about this right here, kid. It's already figured out. I ain't finna there really take no the air like that. Like, there I ain't no even finna let it ride like that. I ain't letting it go down like that. This man, you him, he's sitting here like, I, like, you like that. Hey, man, she be taking care of me. Taking care of you, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah? It is what it is. Okay, okay. All so right. So you're going to have to just deal with it. I'll give you 30 days to get out. You can, you know, do whatever you want to do. You're going to give me 30 days yeah, to get I'll out. Yeah, I'm going to give you 30 days. Hey, you're going to give me 30 days. And what he going to do in them 30 days? He's going to be here. Oh, no. Nah. We're going to be he here. He's going to be up in here. Thanks to you he for is. paying double mortgage over the past few years. We're going to be fine. This Thank man you. is like, he be really on my bed. Like, what? This man really is chilling like that, kid. Like, man, you see what's going on. You I see, see what's going on. on. Yeah. I, mean, I see what's going it's on. It's over. Man, y'all ain't been watching much lately, hey. What is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, like, I work every day. I come home, he hang out in the streets no more. You know what I'm saying? I change my life and my ways, man. Well, you've gotten boring. Oh, God, That's boring. the thing. See, that's He's how really it is. Young. When I talk to him, our conversations go, and they go, and they go. Ours, they just stop. We talk about, about two or three minutes, and it's over with. You sleep. Oh. Working, man. That's boring. Sleep every day, and then this this, this how it go down. Yeah. Oh, well. You know what? I ain't gonna even sweat it because I ain't really trying to do that time like that because I can see, I can feel myself like about to blank out, man. I'm gonna let y'all have that, kid. Real talk. Y'all right. Have a good one. Yeah. I can only make an assumption here based of what she said. She said she hasn't been happy. She also said this man has gotten boring. And the fact that she targeted his son tells me that she was looking for some entertainment in her life. 
Maybe he was not pleasing her in the bedroom. Maybe she needed a young Chad to lay it down. Nonetheless, this is wrong. I don't know why he was just standing there. But one thing for sure, that son and father relationship is probably gone. This is so wrong on many levels. She need to be put in jail. She hurt the husband. She broke the father and son bond. She can't be trusted with no body man. She's a sick, twisted minded person. Well, it's not going to end well, but it will end. Here is my prediction. The young man will be leaving her when he really grows up in the mind. He's going to resent her for doing this to him and his father because it right now he has no comprehension, but he will. After all of this, he's still going to want to mend things with his father. I feel like his father will forgive him, but I'm just not sure what kind of relationship they will have after all of this. Now that's my long-term outcome if things continue. My short-term prediction is that the female child molester needs to be arrested for messing with a minor. She's been messing with him for a while. Now after she's locked up the young man has a chance for reality to hit and not forfeit his relationship with his father. Prayers up. This woman right here divorced her husband because she was making more money than him. But she learned a valuable lesson here. She learned that money isn't everything. If she had learned that sooner, she wouldn't have divorced her husband. By the way, I got a bonus clip for you guys at the end. Look at all this money my girlfriend made just from selling fans. Subscribe to keep me motivated and posting. Thank you. Hey, 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 peace. What's up? All right. I divorced my husband. Why did I divorce my husband? I divorced my husband because I was making a certain amount of money. I divorced my husband because I thought I didn't need him anymore. I divorced my husband because I had this senior position at work and thought I held the same position at home. I divorced my husband because I thought I was better than him because I had my degree now. I divorced my husband because I thought a successful marriage meant I was here and he was down here. That is not success. That's fucking sickness. I found myself divorced and out there looking for love in all the wrong places. Fucking this one and that one and that one and that one and this one and that one. And my body count going up and my value going down. I'm just going to call it like a T.I. is. All the while, my husband done found somebody else building a, a relationship and building a life with them. I should have stayed married to This woman is speaking from her experience. But there's many women who's out here who thinks the same. We've just learned that money doesn't mean anything. While she was out here going crazy, the husband went and found someone who appreciate him for what he has. I do want to thank this woman for speaking out about this from her experience. I do think a lot of people can benefit from this. Sometimes like I regret doing OnlyFans and like dancing and all that. But then I'm like, a lot of younger people do not care. I was only tripping because the old heads are like, <laughs> nah, that ain't right. Like my ex, like he would be like, what am I supposed to tell my mom that you do? Like he would but make then, me feel so bad. And that's such an immature comment. Yeah. Because like, what am I going to tell my mom? In that like traumatic space that I was in, I really thought like, he's right. Like no one will want me. Like OnlyFans is like the death. No, you weren't actually tripping. She may not see it now, but this is going to catch up to her, especially when she wants to settle down. Could you ever cheat on me? Absolutely. That's why I don't make dumb decisions like talking to guys one on one or hanging out in like compromising situations. Because I'm a human being, you're a human being. And I, I'm sorry, babe, I don't know if this is hard for you to to hear but everybody is absolutely <laughs> capable of infidelity in the right slash wrong circumstances oh, okay. that's why boundaries are so important you're never going to see me in a situation even if people think i might be too strict i don't care because i'm not taking that chance Amen. i'm not putting myself in a position to even be close to a position to potentially fall to temptation i'm going to keep it a hundred because anyone is capable of cheating but i will not be cheating on you excellent i love that i love you Look at all this money my girlfriend made just from selling fans. Only. That's it. O only, only fans. That's all she's... No. Only fans. That's it. All she sold was fans and she made this much money. You're...